pay attention to this story. I see this thing all the time, even on even on TikTok. Okay. I will not fault I will not fault the, the guys. I'll fault the girls. Because you girls, you date the wrong guys. I will just quickly share a story. Now there's a guy, his name is Wally. He's been my childhood friend. The guy indulged himself in internet scam. He had so much money. He bought this um, RX 20, I think 2017, uh, as a 2017. You know, then this guy, the, the vehicle was his life. He adored the car with everything. You know, he had a house. When things got bad for him, he started squatting from one girl's place to another. Baba, sell this car, buy a small car, rent apartment. He said no. Everything he had was inside the car. Both his clothes, his hood, everything. You begin to wonder when this guy comes out with his with his um, with senator and smells nice. You begin to wonder what is sustaining his lifestyle. When we found out this guy actually collects money from this girl, you know, borrow from this one, used to pay this one like that. Every morning he will come to, you can call me, guy for a day house. He will quickly rush into the shower and bath. It's always a transco. Then all these innocent girls will fall prey to these guys. Mm. You guys, even most of the time, most of I'm coming, most of the time he even sleeps with them in the car. Is he a fine boy? He's a fine boy. <laughs> you get so he's a fine boy. Now he sleeps with them in the car. Something happened. Something, something, I promise something that broke the camel's back. Now this guy took a girl, brought a girl to my house. I and my brother we were playing video games. Video game in the parlor. And the next thing, he walked inside the, the guest room. And we were hearing soundtracks from the room. You know, obviously he was doing stuff. Now he went, he left. After like two days, very early in the morning, you know, I heard a very loud bang at my door. I, I, I came out, that was really when SARS was still raining. As I just came out with my boxers, wham, I saw a very, very dirty slap. It was SARS guys, you know, where is Wally? And I was like, Wally how? He said that they went inside the house, I searching for this guy. My other brother was perplexed, you know, didn't know what was going on. And they already put handcuffs on me. What happened? This guy borrowed money from that girl that he brought to my house. I think over a million naira. He didn't pay her, you know, and apparently they thought that was the guy's house. I allowed everything rest. I have a, a military background, you know, so I, I allowed everything slide. When we got to their office, I, I, started, I started, my brother made calls and I, I became angry. Number one, I said, we are going to get, I was going to get this guy because I felt really embarrassed. Imagine living in an estate with handcuffs. Mm. You know, that was the height of embarrassment I could ever get for something I didn't know about, you know. So when I, I spoke to DPO and all of that, this SARS mm -hmm. office in Abatoa, yeah. you know, so we left there and we, I don't like calling names. There was a garden we normally hang out then. So my guys, we made a call because we had a lot of mutual friends, you know, we made a call to this guy, that guy, come around, let's hang out. He didn't know what was going on. So we already told the SARS guys to hang around. Now, when we sat down, we were drinking, he was there. So after some time, we I sent a message to the SARS guys. Moment, yes, moment. I know, I'm going to hurry up. I sent a message to the SARS guys, and they came and picked the guy up. But to cut the long story short, we were still the ones that bailed him out. They wanted to teach him a lesson. <laughs> after that, we all cut off from him. Now, you can imagine how many girls that this guy must have done it to. My point is this. Now, know the source of whoever you're dating, what he's doing for a living. Mm. You see, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to talk down on guys that do estates and um, real estate there are a lot of them in abuja but what they are doing is g they will tell you they'll be on the phone making fake phone calls it mm. happened to a lot of people that have come even to me to even complain you mm. know collect money from this and that but you guys are so carried away with with material things flashy yeah. things you know you, you will leave a guy that is driving a corolla that is doing at least trying for his mm. life i'm going for the guy that is driving range rover without the house the hey. that is staying in, driving corolla has an apartment that is that is renting mm. and he's very okay staying in yeah. lube the other one tells you that he's jumping from one place to another. At the end of the day, you come online and say, no, my job boys don't have house. Hmm. I have a house. And everybody here, <laughs> you all have houses. Thank you. I hope you've learned your lessons. Please do well to subscribe to this channel for more.